on that trip, I had a dream that there was a man in a casket and he sat up and he said, I'm not, I'm Dick Johnson and I'm not dead yet. And I was like, that's, that's what I need to make. And the dream was like this wake up call, like my dad's going to die. And it's the thing I care about most of all those ideas in that application of all those things, Zoe Kravitz, Lori Rosenwald, mass incarceration. What I care about most in this moment, even though I know that the problems of the world exist, what I care about most in this moment is my dad's death. And camera person had freed me to say, I'm gonna make what I need to make in this moment. And what I need to make is a film with my dad. Uh, but all of those ideals that you saw, like I wanna push the form, right? I wanna break cinema to give me the tools to live. I, I, I'm begging cinema to keep my father alive. I'm begging cinema to help, um, help me time travel. Um, I'm begging cinema to give me a way to reconstruct him um, as he is falling apart because of dementia. And, you know, I know nobody cares about my dad. I know, I knew at the time when I first started this, like, why should anyone care about my dad? He's an old, nice white man from the United States of America who's had a nice life. He hasn't done anything particularly special except be an extraordinary father. So why does anyone care about that? Well, this is the thing I've often said in Marsha's class, like there are some ideas that are execution dependent. It matters how you make them. There are some films that you almost can't mess them up. So there's a documentary called Hands on a Hard Body. Uh, it's a movie about this contest in Texas where people uh, have to stand and put their hand on a pickup truck and they get a break. One, I think they get a 10 minute break every hour, but the last person still holding onto the truck gets the truck. I would say you almost can't mess up that movie. That's gonna be a great movie. Even if you're a lousy cinematographer, even if the sound is rotten, uh, because one, you know, that movie can be filmed in 72 straight hours. And two, like whoever is still standing after 72 straight hours having hold on, held onto a truck, like you wanna know who that person is. You wanna watch that movie. And it, it wasn't an execution dependent idea. So here in some crazy way, I had, I suddenly for the first time had an idea. This is like one of the first ideas I've ever had where I said, my idea is I'm going to make a movie in which I kill my father over and over with the help of stunt people until he really dies for real. That's a pretty crazy idea. And I am ready to make this movie in a way no one has ever made a movie before. 